Hey everyone, and welcome to another episode of GearTactics.com. I'm your host, Justin Lee, and look, it's another Kangaroo PC. This time, it is a Kangaroo Pro. Pro is uh, the one with the extra dock that uh, they've been telling us about. It sells for $169.99 US or $219.99 Canadian. The uh, Kangaroo uh, Mobile Desktop Pro has uh, the same specs as the original Kangaroo. Windows 10 64-bit, 1.44 GHz Intel Atom X5 Z8500 CPU. Intel Graphics Gen 8, 2 gigs of RAM, 32 gigs of eMMC. Uh, that's like a little SSD on a, on a micro SD card, I guess you can call it. Has a uh, micro SD card reader, fingerprint reader, has a built in battery, so uh, that's kind of useful if you're using it without power. Uh, you can use OSX Link, that's an iPad app to uh, connect to it. You can also use uh, VNC. Uh, there's a little switch I will show you to make a little hotspot. Alright, so let's get this open here. Not the box is a fingerprint magnet, isn't it? Come on. No, this is what I get for trying to do it live. Here we go. <laughs> Alright, instruction manual. Well, it's probably almost the same as the original kangaroo. Uh, be sure to watch all those other videos. I have a plus and the original kangaroo uh, videos for you to watch. I'll put them in the description below. There's a quick start user guide. Uh -huh. And the QR code here to register the product. Oh, there it is. Mobile desktop, dock pro, AC adapter, and yeah, the dock pro. And of course the power plug. Alright, so there's a little kangaroo module that you pull out. You can swap with other docks. There's the big dock. Yeah, it's got a VGA now and an Ethernet. Uh, this is how you pop off the bottom to put in a hard drive. Yes, the dock also supports a little SATA 2.5 inch hard drive. Uh, you can put a laptop hard drive or you can put a 2.5 inch SSD. Your choice. I will show you how to do that shortly. All right. Let's go see the most important part, the actual Kangaroo Pro. Look at that. Wow. Certainly thicker than the previous Kangaroo. Still not that big. They still got a nice aluminum finish. Alright, see, so this is the original Kangaroo. It uh, originally came with a little dock that had USB ports on it. See, there it is. Yeah. There's a dock connector. So you can actually take this out and plug it into uh, an original kangaroo dock if this thing ever focuses. There we go. So yeah, you can plug that into any kangaroo dock, the original dock. Alright, so there's a little micro USB. That's for charging the battery. It does not run off of it. Micro SD card slot. Another vent. Here's the uh, action switch. When you flip this, it makes a little Wi-Fi hotspot. You can uh, VNC to it, so even if you're not connect connected to a wireless network or a wire network, you flip this switch, it starts up a little access point, and you can actually VNC to it. I have actually shown how to do that in the original Kangaroo video. This is a fingerprint reader, power button, vent there, I guess. All right. Yep. Is an original kangaroo. So uh, unfortunately, they don't sell the dock separately. So you actually have, have to end up with this kangaroo I'm holding here. So, for example, if you bought the kangaroo plus, which has four gigs of RAM instead of two, like this one, and 64 gigs of storage instead of 32 gigs of storage, like this one, you'll uh, end up with two of these. <laughs> I hope they do sell the dock separately eventually, because that was the point, right? So, okay, I put this back in here. I'm just gonna show you the uh, power plug that was in the bottom here. Oh, there it is. It's the same power plug as the uh, other kangaroos. It's identical. Oh, 
They also gave me these rubber feet. This is actually to cover up two of the screw holes in the um, in the hard drive dock. See? There's actually two holes that are uncovered. Well, they actually gave me four. Hmm. See? Two of the rubber feet, one here, and one over here. The other two already have. So, I guess if you lose them, they give you two extra. Yep. Thanks, in focus. <laughs> so, on the back of this dock, there we go. Look, there's a lot of extra ports that the original one didn't have. So, Ethernet. Yeah, that's new. Two USB 2.0s. HDMI was there before. There's a power. Headphone jack. That's new. Yeah, that's HDMI was there before. And the VGA. That's new. Gonna have to test a uh, dual display if it actually lets you do that. And there's the USB 3 in the side. Same dock connector. So you can put it in any kangaroo PC. Alright, so I'm gonna have to take off these two screws here. And pry this open with the screwdriver. Alright, let's get through this. Any screwdriver here? Obviously, you're not going to do this too often, so let's speed this up. And I really wish I can turn a screwdriver that fast. So, here's a standard 2.5 gig uh, SATA laptop hard drive here, or 2.5 inch hard drive. <laughs> They're not just for laptops anymore. It's the same connector. It's pretty standard. I'm gonna pop that in here. I'm guessing there's a some kind of bay in here that I have to put it into. Alright, so I'm guessing I'll have to unbolt this from the Kangaroo Pro, so let's hop to it. I'll, uh, there's four screws holding it down. Uh, there's actually little arrows pointing at it if you have it, uh, if you have this YouTube video full screened. Uh, nope, those seem to be coming out. Alright, I'm just going to uh, speed this up. Okay, there's the last screw, if the magnet ever picks it up. Mm hmm. That's a little pull tab here. Alright, there's a little bay. The hard drive's gonna go into. Little screws, holes there. Another one, two. Three and four, that's pretty easy. And voila! I just uh, put the four screws, holes that I showed you. Pretty easy to do. They actually gave me four screws here. <laughs> I didn't notice. Uh, but my, my drive actually came with four screws, so I kind of use this tab to put it back in. So, see how easy that was? Well, once I slide this in and put all the screws back in, the Kangaroo Pro should see this as a huge storage space. So you could probably use this as a little file server or hey, a little media server is actually good. You know, if you want to uh, DNLA something to your Xbox or PlayStation. You know, where else can you get a computer for that cheap for, for that purpose? Wow, that's a lot of crunch in there.
Okay, nice and solid. Okay, let's see how fast this boots up. Oh, that's it. I'm already in. I'm actually booting off the internal uh, 32 meg uh, EMC drive, not the hard drive. I actually couldn't get that to work, so, but supposedly you can. Some people have done it, but uh, better uh, Google that because I couldn't get it to work. Uh, it'd be better if actually you boot off that, SS, uh, that SSD or laptop hard drive than the built-in one. Be faster. If uh, you manage to do it, be sure to comment below. So, I'm just going to head over to Gear Tactics, show you how fast this goes. Okay. Great for surfing. No problem at all doing uh, basic surfing. This is taking a little longer to load the ad up there, but that's ads for you. Alright, so... Does it also doesn't help that my website has a whole bunch of videos on there. Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of GearTactics.com. And look at that, it's another Kangaroo Mini PC. I'm your host, Justin Lee, from GearTactics.com. Well, as you can see, it works. Sent in Perfectly fine. Uh, should watch that other Kangaroo Plus review. That was the one with the 4 gigs of RAM. And uh, 64 gig storage. All right, let's close this up. Uh, if you uh, incline to use uh, Firefox, it's not a problem either. Instead of using the built-in Edge browser, which tends to freeze. I don't know why it does that. <laughs> There you go. In fact, I think that even loaded faster than the Edge browser. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's why I personally use Firefox myself. So if you want to use Office programs, definitely not a problem. I wouldn't try video editing on this. So, some of you asked, can you play Team Fortress 2 on this? Well, I'm going to try just for you. As you can see, it's oddly windowed. Uh, fortunately, the DirectX on this Intel Gen 8 graphics card, uh, sometimes things don't go full screen, so I had to window this. It's kind of odd that it does that. It seems to behave better if it's hooked up to a monitor, but it's hooked up to a TV. It always defaults to some windowed mode. I don't know why it does that, but uh, your mileage may vary. So here we go, okay. I'm just gonna show you what I have it set up as the 1280. I tried to set it to full screen, but let's see if it works this time just for the heck of it. Oh, okay, that worked that time. Alright, uh, I do actually have it hooked up to a monitor this time instead of a television, because when I hooked it, it hooked up to a television, it wouldn't go full screen. Alright, noted. Hook up a kangaroo to a computer monitor. So, it's running at 1280 times 720. Uh, there's no way you're going to be able to get this uh, game running at uh, full HD uh, 1920 times 1080. I'm just actually showing you real-time loading. I know it makes the review much longer, but uh, shows exactly what you're in for if you're going to try and game on this thing.
<laughs> Seems to have hooked up slightly. Come on. I have this iffy feeling that uh, it's not going to run very well. <laughs> At this resolution, I'm just uh, starting up the training mode. Yeah. Tell me I have to enable the HUD, so I will not. Let's see if they move here. Okay, well, in the training mode, it seems to run. Hmm. Of course, I'm in a little tiny room here. Much of a surprise, it thought it's not really hiccuping that bad. Hmm. Alright, off we go. And duck. It's lagging slightly, but not, it's not too bad. It's a big rocket launcher. Alright, so uh, I am actually joining a real game on the internet. And as you can see, I've lowered the resolution. <laughs> There's a reason for that. It's actually set to 800 times 600, and unfortunately, it's not filling up the whole screen. So, I tried running it at 1280 times 720. It, yeah. Sorry to say the little kangaroo can't handle it that well. So I'm going to try it at 800 times 600. Alright, it's actually running. <laughs> I'm sure if I tweak this a bit more, you know, lower the uh, some of the graphic options, this could be totally playable. It's, it's running okay. Tolerable. So, I guess if I uh, tweak some of the settings, uh, set the uh, character model a little lower. Okay, I even managed to kill somebody. Yeah, if I tweak this, yeah, you probably could play Team Fortress 2. So, uh, I'll leave you to uh, tweak that and uh, see how it goes. So, we're going to try an uh, older game. This is Serious Sam HD, The Second Encounter. One of our viewers asked us to try it out. I know a lot of friends uh, who are hardcore Serious Sam players. And obviously, you know, why are you going to invest in a super uber PC when you can buy one for 169 well, This is the pro model. Uh, I would suggest that if you're going to game, because you'll need extra storage space to store all those games. For a regular kangaroo. This is rated M, folks. Take the children away if they're watching this review. Well, actually, it's not that violent, but... <laughs> that's what ratings are for. Follow them. Okay, so again, I'm doing this real-time on purpose. So you can see how long it actually takes to load. You appear to have encountered a big blank screen. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Alright, ooh. It, it appears to be hiccuping slightly. Alright, let's see what we got here. So, what does it think it can run at? Okay, it thinks it can run at 1280 times 720. If you say so, Serious Sam. Okay, I'm just gonna try that demo here. Alright, uh, normal. Uh, hello? Uh oh. Well, let's give it a second. Oh, okay, good. I really should have installed this on the hard drive. <laughs> I installed it on the uh, local uh, 32 uh, meg uh, EMMC storage. 
you know, it'd be way faster if I had put it on that uh, 2.5 gig SATA drive. But I'm running it like this because, well, you know, some of you might buy the Kangaroo original, which doesn't have the uh, 2.5 H bay. Or maybe you're gonna go for the uh, Kangaroo Plus, which has 4 gigs of RAM and uh, 64 gigs of storage. But uh, fortunately, the uh, Pro only comes with the original Kangaroo. So you got 32 gigs of storage and 2 gigs of RAM. I guess if you threw an SSD in this instead of a regular laptop hard drive, it would load super fast, I'll tell you that. It'd fly. Especially if you pair this with a Kangaroo uh, Plus, which has 4 gigs of RAM. Fortunately, as I said before, they don't sell the, this dock separately, so if you already own a Kangaroo Plus, you will have to buy the whole kit again. I do hope they sell it separately soon. I will definitely suggest that to the info the people at Infocus who thanks for sending this to me for review. This level sure is large. This uh, cherry tray, cherry trail processor does have a decent graphics card. Uh, Check out some of the gaming videos I did in the previous Kangaroos, such as the uh, Plus. I did some PlayStation 2 emulation. Okay, oh. Nice. Look, Ma! I'm a lumberjack! It's really pretty well. Yes, I apparently am a lumberjack holding this giant chainsaw here. Take that! Whoa. I just totally wasted that guy. Well, I would say that's pretty good. It was even better than Team Fortress 2. Yeah. Definitely running properly. Oh my, there appears to be quite a few monsters chasing after me. Yeah, let's switch back to the chainsaw. Take that! And that! And this! And whoops, I missed. Mmm. I wonder how they taste if you cook them. Ah, my old love. Alright. I'm just gonna fast forward here a bit to show you uh, some bigger parts of the game. So, see, it's just running fine. Not even a hiccup. Right, let's see how sniping is on this. Whoopsie. Okay, screw this. I'm just gonna blast him far. <laughs> Take that. Haha! All right. So as you can see, whoops! I don't. Oh, I managed to pull that from the side there. It uh, works great, and uh, I would say if you're a serious Sam fan, you will enjoy it on this. Another viewer asked if 2D fighters work on uh, Mame. I did extensive Mame uh, gaming on the first Kangaroo review. Again, those links are in the description below. So, let's try Street Fighter 2, which I am warning you, I absolutely suck at this game. So, be prepared for terrible fighting. <laughs> As I've shown before, MAME runs pretty well on this. But uh, I did not try Street Fighter, so I shall. For our viewers, uh, I'm gonna take one for the bullet here because I really suck at 2D fighting games. This is the Hyper Fighting Edition, so it's, well, hyper fast! <laughs>
No, it seems to be doing okay. Well, except for my actual playing. Yes, I am Ryu and I'm getting my arse kicked. Alright. Oh my. Well, it does run at the right speed. I, I wish it actually it didn't run at the right speed, because then I'd have a chance here, because I can't even throw a fireball. Come on. Oh my. Alright. So, it does run well. I'm just not good at it. <laughs> Alright, I just wanted to show you uh, the multiple displays here. As you can see, I've got two things plugged in. A VGA and an HDMI. It only shows a single display. So that doesn't work, folks, unfortunately. If you plug in a VGA and an HDMI, it won't work. Well, that kind of sucks, actually. It'd be nice to have dual monitor, you know, you can have Outlook open on one window and, you know, Word open on another one, but it doesn't. Let's hope a driver updates fixes that. So, this is the Kangaroo Pro Edition. You can get this off Newegg, you can get it off Microsoft uh, Store, it's sold in Canada and the United States. Sells for $169 US and $219 Canadian. It's made by InFocus, thanks for them for sending it to me. I love this uh, line of uh, Computers. So be sure to follow us, let's like us on Facebook, that's Gear Tactics. Twitter, follow us, it's at Gear Tactics, of course. And we've got more video reviews at GearTactics.com. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and like the video. Kangaroo is actually releasing a new laptop. So be sure to subscribe and we will show you the Kangaroo laptop.